Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing and a quick XRP update. You can see we've had a nice little pump uh, today, like we've been talking about within this falling channel. Real quick, we'll do this in the three hour time frame because I like to do it in the three or four hour time frame. And you can see right now, let's zoom on, zoom in here. You can see we've had this nice little pump right here, right? Now what I would watch out for, see that little candlestick? There's still no volume, but it's trended up a little bit from its low. Now I'd watch to see how it interacts with this blue line, which is the 50-day moving average. That's why we have this target up here because we told you yesterday if it's going to follow the trend, now you would come up here eventually uh, to retest. But if you hit this 200, the 50-day moving average in blue and it knocks you back down, then you could come back down to 78 cents or you could keep trying to fight and scrawl and crutch your way up and try to hit the upper resistance again in this falling channel just like you did back there at 92 cents and you did back there at about a dollar four right and then you had support right there one a whole conglomerate on a fake out and then you hit support way down there on the wick and then you hit support just now here at about 80 cents right so that's what i'm watching for an xrp as we zoom into the three minute time frame you can see it's having trouble after that initial pump we're starting to get this up and sideways consolidation but this could also be a bullish consolidation and on the break up if you break out of this little pattern that you're forming you'd go from here to the point of a breakout which would get you almost to upper resistance on this little formation right there after this nice pump right now but if you break down your breakdown target out of this little candle formation on this live ta would simply be something small like this so small it won't even let me grab it out of here and then you'd pull it to the targeted move and then it would bring you down to the 200 day in a three minute time frame so that's what we're looking at here We'll continue to watch that. Your major upper resistance is up there at about 90 cents. Your major lower support is 78 cents. And your short-term support in the one-hour time frame or the 45-minute time frame would be the short-term moving averages right here, right? We'll use our little point arrow. Short-term moving averages in white right here is the nine-day and in yellow is the 20-day, right? So that's what I'm looking at there. Keep an eye out on this to see what's going on in XRP. As we move along into the Dogecoin, you can see the same thing. We've now come up to our underneath support out of this uh, bearish consolidation in the 200-day moving average, just like we were talking about when we were straddling down there. We were saying this could be in the 45 minute with this patterns in you had the wick on the breakdown but then the candle body support upper resistance one lower support two upper resistance a whole group two lower support three we were saying this could come up and if you want to get bullish and you want to try to get up in here into the future with where we were predicting in the three hour time frame the 200 day moving average to be you would have to break out of this triangle which would get above the 200 day moving average in the 45 and then you can make a run up at this upper resistance right but if you don't break up out of this little consolidation the breakdown target you do from the top to the bottom to the point of a breakout which gets you very close to that 12 cents so your major upper resistance right now is at about the 21 cent level and in order to do that and achieve that you have to break out of this little symmetrical triangle that we're in and you're running up against the 200 day so pay attention to see if you get a little fake out and then a reverse i want to dump on the open today or if you trade and finish this and then a fake down and then a reverse all right so this is a critical area you must keep an eye out on that your major support is this triangle when you break out of it you want to see a volume increase a volume spike and your underneath support is at 16 and a half cents and your overhead resistance is at about 17 and a half cents right and when you break out relatively speaking if you were breaking up and you break out of this and say the 45 minute all this you would want to see in comparison to this volume that's been there you would like to see a big candlestick like that in volume right a nice candlestick at least something like that something different than what's been going on and if you zoom out you want to break all that see this big see these candles back here these two red ones you would like to see a couple of candlesticks that beat out those red candlesticks in green on a break up, right? If this breaks up with a nice price move above 17 cents, you would like to see a couple of big red candles or green candlesticks, right? To confirm the breakout with volume. So we'll continue to watch out for that. Uh, and then as we move to XLM, you can see we've got support off of that 
just above the blue ring down there at 25 cents. We're trying to fight that we drew back up here the other day, yesterday, I believe. We're trying to fight back up to this upper resistance where the 200-day moving average, we were forecasting it to be at in the three-hour time frame. So we'll go there, and you can see, indeed, that 200-day is up there, and it, that would be more like the 50-day moving average is there. So that's what we're going to watch out for now in the three-hour is to try to fight and scratch and crawl your way up to the 200-day or the 100-day at the 29.3 cent level, right? And to see how it interacts with that. Does it get rejected or does it pull through? Or you come up here, back test this blue ring like right here that you flush through and you come back and you get beat down and you trade back down towards this 25 cent level. So that's what we're going to watch out for in XLM. Like, subscribe, and share to Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing. Peace and love. Peace and love.